Welcome back, and congratulations on making it through the first video. Setting up the microprocessor is the most confusing part of this entire process. But now we get to have a little fun. We're going to uh, do a few videos about basic C commands, and the first of these is going to be the while command. So let's talk a little bit about the structure of uh, commands in C. Now, when you do a command, you have the command name, then in parentheses, you have something called arguments. And arguments are a statement that you make, usually something equals something, or uh, a value. And if that is equal to one, or it is a true statement, then the command will execute. And if it is not true, it will skip over the command. Um, following the arguments, in curly brackets, you put everything you want the command to do. So, if we want the, say we want the command to blink, blink an LED. So, uh, blink RA0. So that would blink the uh, port on RA0. Or say you want the command to uh, I don't know, anything you want the command to do, you would put it inside the curly brackets. And then following the curly bracket, we always put a semicolon, <clears throat> because that indicates to the compiler that we are done with the command. Now you can get sloppy and omit this on everything that has curly brackets. Sometimes you only want to use a command and you don't want the command to do anything else, so you omit the curly brackets. Um, you must put the semicolon after this. Always, always, always. Um, but it is good practice to put the semicolon at the end of the curly bracket. Um, that way, if you transfer your code over to a new compiler that uh, finds this necessary to have the, the uh, semicolon at the end of the curly bracket, you will be set. So let's have a look at the while command. We'll set up the while command just like I showed you. We'll type in our command name, we'll open per and close parentheses for our arguments, and we'll open up our curly brackets for our uh, commands. And uh, the while command takes an argument that is either true or false. If it is true, uh, it will execute the while command, and if it is false, it will uh, skip the while command. So the very most common reason to use the while command is called a while loop. And if you set this argument to something that is always true, which would be while one is equivalent to one, this while will become a loop and it will run forever. And that is really useful when you want your microprocessor to, uh, to do something over and over and over and never stop. Um, if you don't include this, it will just execute all your commands and it will finish. And the only way to restart uh, the program is to turn the microprocessor off and on again. So this is one of the most common uh, functions that you will use. And inside this loop, we can now write what we want the, um, what we want the microprocessor to do. At the end of the last video, I brought you here. Um, we've set up the microprocessor and uh, we've written our initialization function and um, we basically have a blank slate in which we can write our program on. So let's put our while loop in here. Write out our command name. We'll open and close our argument and uh, open and close our curly brackets and end it with a semicolon. And uh, so now we want this to loop forever so we are going to say one is logically equivalent to one. Now you can't say one equals one here. Uh, you'll get a syntax error. And that is because in C, equals is, um, is saved for, say I want whatever port, say port C to equal a certain value. That is for changing values. If you want to do a logical equivalent, you use two equal signs. So while one is equivalent or one equals one, um, you use two equal signs. So 
we now have our while loop set up. And uh, we'll put a little code in here. I've already written a blink function. And we want that to blink every, hmm, let's say, every 250 microseconds. 250. And that's it. Um, so we've written our, our while command, we've written our argument, and we've written uh, what's inside the function, what we want it to do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flash this to the chip. And you can see our program is working. Now the way this works is the while command begins and it sees that its argument uh, is true. So it begins to execute the code inside its curly brackets. Um, so it calls the blink command and then um, delays for 250 microseconds and then returns back to the beginning of the while command. And since its argument is true and always will be true, it will repeat forever. Another reason to use a while loop is if you only want to execute code while a certain condition is true. For example, if we want our LED to only blink while a button is pressed, we can put that inside a while loop. So we're going to put another while loop inside the while loop we already have and replace our blink code into there but our argument this time is going to be RA0 and that is the pin uh, that the button is on if RA0 is not equal to 1 then execute this code so let's go ahead and flash this So the way this works is the, the program goes down the line, goes to the main argument, calls the initialization function, comes back to the while loop here, and says, oh, one equals one. So I need to execute all the code inside the while loop. So it goes here and says, while RAO is not equal to one, well, we haven't pressed the button yet, so RAO is equal to one. So that is a false statement and I am going to jump over this whole while command. Then I'll go back to the while one equals one and while still equals one, so we're gonna go back in here and by this time we've pressed the button. So RAO is now equal to zero, which is not equal to one, so we execute the code inside of here. And then we call our blink function, we wait for a quarter of a second, and as long as our button is pressed down, then RAO will not be equal to 1, so we will continue to blink. But when we let up, we'll go back to this while, and RAO will now be equal to 1. So it's a false statement again, and we go back and we sit in this while loop forever until someone presses the button. And that's the while command. Pretty simple, but pretty powerful. Now don't miss the next video, we're going to be talking about delays. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ask questions if you have any. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.